good grief. I completely forgot we left everybody eating an entire feast of food. Look at all of this food and look at all of our pups, you guys. Oh, it has been far too long since we have seen our wobble dogs and I have missed them so much. Garcello, how are you doing? Whoa, okay, I, that wasn't petting you, Garcello. I'm sorry, that was literally just like grabbing you by the ear and yanking you all around the room. I apologize. Also, speaking of yanking around the room, it, okay, do, it doesn't seem like Shepard minds you doing that, but I'm really not sure if you're supposed to be like chewing on him. So we'll revisit this subject later. But hello everyone and welcome Welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where our wonderful little Wobble Dogs are not going to betray me. Right, little ones? Right? <laughs> because I have once again tried to go ahead and dive into some of our wonderful animal rescue adventures we've been doing. And unfortunately, both to the rescue and the animal shelter simulator games are just not functional right now. They're like busted. I did everything I could to try to return to all of those puppers that we were rescuing. But you know what? At the end of the day, I grew so frustrated with the collapse of all of the bugs and just the things that were clearly not really making for a functional time yet that all I could think was that I just wanted to relax with some good doggos. Just some good, happy doggos who weren't going to have all these crashing issues and I knew were loyal and would be by our side. And oh, Tika Rose, I'm so proud of you for digging. And that made me come back to our Wobble Dogs because it, Wobble Dogs is amazing. It has been, oh, Tika Rose, what did you find? Oh, Tika Rose, the jungle den upgrade. You glorious creature, you. That legitimately is good evidence of what I was just saying, that we have some good dogs here. Some good, wonderful, loyal dogs that I know are always going to be uh, like at our side. They're always gonna help us out. Tika Rose, you wanna do a little more digging? Cause you did so good on the last one. Also, there's a lot of snoring going on. Oh, look at Garcello's mini tails are wagging even. At Tika, you're digging on your side. Tika, you're the best dog! Oh my gosh, praise, praise. You got a little super ball as a toy. Here you go, Tika Rose. This will be your super ball, because you are super. But Wobble Dogs is also a small indie group. I think it's actually like a one-man band performance. And I, at the end of the day, if we're going to be playing with puppies, I want it to be in in places where I can really feel like, yeah, this is a good game. This is something I would want everybody to take part in, and this is something I want to support. And so that is why we are back. We are back here at Wobble Dogs. Do for crying out loud. I really don't know if Chickadee wants you like chewing on their foot. No, do drop it. Drop it. I know Chickadee has multiple legs. Okay, good job, do. Good job. Look at that innocent face. <gasps> do it's time to puppet already oh my gosh okay well i do have that i do have that rule where um here uh go ahead and eat this just because it's right in front of you where now when our puppies say that it's time to puppet we don't hesitate anymore and we let them like go straight into puppation and we hatch them as soon as they're ready as a way to try to grab whatever gut bacteria are currently within them but yeah anyway there is my long speech about why we're back in wobble dogs i have indeed missed wobble dogs we're going to be taking a break from to the rescue we're going to be taking a big break from the animal shelter simulator even though i don't want to because they don't work and we're gonna be at a place that does work and give all of the praise from the frustrations I have felt over the last like day trying to get the other things working for our adventures. I wanna really give some huge praise to how wonderful the Wobble Dogs experience has been and how much fun it has been. Tika Rose, are you chewing too? Tika Rose, I don't know if you should be. Maybe don't, don't chew? Are you, were you playing though? Ah, okay, that doesn't look like playing. Yeah, don't shake. No, Tikaro, stop. Here, come over here and do some more digging. Go go do some digging. But I want to just give a lot of praise to the creator of Wobble Dogs because this has always been such a wonderful experience and he clearly puts a lot of hard work into it. And so do the other developers, but nothing makes you appreciate that more when you've struggled to get something working for like the last 48 hours it drove you mad and finally has driven me back into the arms of our mini headed dogs a lot of our dogs actually have multiple heads right now except for little shepherd 
who is actually one of our patrons, Puppers. Shepard, do you want to get something to eat? Here, I'm going to have you have some moon cheese. Oh, there you go, buddy. Here, he really liked that moon cheese. Let's go ahead and get him some more moon cheese. Oh my gosh. I know people sometimes sneak cheese to their dog, and I don't know if that's, like, good for them. But, oh, we're going to give him a little... Oh, he's hoarding his little objects over here. So that's what he's doing. He's trying to... Oh, oh, Shepard, here. I think we made it a little too hard. And then he sneezed himself out of the corner. I mean, how can you not love this? <laughs> All right, Shepard, you come over here and you try to eat some of that moon cheese. And meanwhile, Garcello... Okay, Garcello is getting some lasagna to eat. Oh, and dude, you're ready to hatch. All right, so let's see what we got. <gasps> Do! Ooh, I like the color change. He's really got a very, very shiny nose now, and he's got some lovely stripes. This is fun. I think we'll go ahead and let all of the puppies continue to play in this big main room for just a little bit longer. Because normally, Tika Rose and Cotton Ball... <gasps> Shepard! You laid an egg! I didn't realize you were an adult. But normally, Tika Rose and Cotton Ball would have been over with the ghost. And hey, Raindrop! Long time no see. Oh, I am very happy to be here. All right. If you guys have... In fact, I'll make a community post about it, perhaps. But if you guys have other really fantastic experiences where you're like, oh my gosh, I just love being with this virtual puppers or cat, and you just feel like you're really part of a fun shelter experience, do let me know, because we definitely need to have something happen. All right, let's clean all these up. Cotton Ball, why are you starving to death when there are so many options for food? And you've got two heads. That's like double the mouths to be able to dig with. Oh, hey, Aussie. Oh dear, all right. Um, oh, there we go. I think Cotton Ball was tripping over some of the apples, ironically enough. All right, let's give Cotton Ball some pets. We've got a lot of teenage dogs in here. Is that another egg? It is another egg! Somebody laid another egg! And then there's like an egg over here, but it's a deviled egg. All right, and we gotta clean up all the poop so that we don't have any messes whilst our dogs go ahead and enjoy. Hey, do! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you're okay, Tika Rose. You're okay. Is she feeling... Oh, she's feeling a little tired. Here, maybe we'll put Tika Rose over here. Give her some pets so she feels... Oh, that's right. Tika Rose is the unpetable. Here, why don't you go ahead and get some sleep? There. She just needs a little nap, I think. Oh, what is happening over here? <laughs> a party, I think. All right, Chickadee and uh, Shepard are hanging out together. Somebody just threw a dirt clump. Like, was that Aussie? I think that was Aussie. Somebody just threw a dirt clump way far away. Oh my gosh. But I, I'm so happy. Like, our Wobble Dogs, they're just being so sweet. And it's fun to be able just to hang out with them again. But if there's other experiences where you're like, yeah, I'm really happy to be hanging out here with my pups. I'm really happy. Oh, Tika Rose or Cotton Ball, pardon me. Oh, look at how peaceful Tika Rose is napping, by the way. All right, let's give, oh, there's a lot of puppation for crying out loud. <laughs> Garcello! Stop! Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna start puppating everybody who requested it. And then I think we're actually gonna get Shepard to have a baby. And I'm trying to decide, should we have Shepard's egg that Shepard laid go with the very awkward uh, chickadee? So we have two awkward puppers. Or should we go ahead and have Aussie, who is also an adult over here, um, and I think getting chewed on by Dew. <laughs> okay, Aussie's fun is not going up, which means that Dew is indeed harassing instead of playing. Oh, poor Aussie. Here, Aussie, do you want to come over in the corner? And, oh, Aussie has three heads. That's true. And is an adult. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to puppy these two. Oh, I love this. Cotton Ball! <gasps> You're a young adult now, Cotton Ball! Okay, so we've got, looks like a lot of, oh, the tail size went up. How exciting. I, I mean, everybody is enjoying what we made like a Thanksgiving Day feast for. And so they're eating the leftovers of the Thanksgiving Day feast because that was the last time we saw our wobble dogs. Oh, so cute. So cute. And then Garcello. All right, Chickadee and Shepard seem to be playing in the corner. Garcello, how are you doing? So Garcello, coloration is getting a little lighter. 
leg stance and girth are growing. Body length is down, but other, everything else is kind of just generic there. And then Cotton Ball is immediately eating some uh, garlic. But all right, oh, Tika Rose is ready to puppy. Oh my goodness. All right, any last minute food? Because Tika Rose does, oh my gosh, what is happening here? We have a three-way puppy. Do, do, let go. A three-way puppy pile up of um, mischief, if you ask me. Tika Rose, why don't you go ahead and we'll try to have you eat this corn just to get some spots and dots right before you puppate. And meanwhile, I do think it's really cute how Shepard and Chickadee seem to be a very good friend. So maybe we will actually have those two have a an egg as well to celebrate. But Aussie definitely needs more eggs to get those three heads going. Man, I have missed this so much more than I thought. However, Shepard laid the egg today. So let's think. Should we do Aussie or should we go ahead and do Chickadee? Let's let the Dice of Destiny decide. We'll do one of each. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do uh, Chickadee, the awkward Chickadee for the first one. And then we're going to do uh, Aussie with, of the three heads for the next one. Let's see if we can get a colorful pup out of Shepherd and Chickadee. All right, let's see. Let's try it. Or maybe we'll just try to go for somebody who reminds me of Shepherd, because they are a pup that one of our patrons actually gave us, which I think is cute. Here, we'll try breeding these two. And let's see if we get some like <gasps> color variation. What was I just saying? Some interesting color variation going on in here. Oh, and I see two tails. Oh, it's been so long since we've been in here. I am so happy. Look, this is these are all good dogs. I know where to go to find some good dogs, our wobble dogs. We've been with them for so long and I love them so much. Let's try to go for Maybe the pinkish ones, would, and then look at all the tails on this guy. That's like three tails. And we'll just see where this takes us. Cause this is gonna be Chickadee and, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be Chickadee and uh, Shepherd's baby. And I think it'd be fun just to see how different it could look compared to both of their parents, or like both of its parents. Ooh, I like the green face on this one, but I kind of like the muted green color more for this little guy. We're getting a lot of tails there. Let's try these two. All right, the stability is still really high. There's lots of curly tails. Oh, it's been so long since we've done this. Let's take a peek at the legs because I want to try to make sure this one's a walker, good. We'll get one that walks well. Let's see. Ooh, I like the light pink, very, very, very light pink tone we have on this one. And then let's try to maybe, okay, this one seems to be tangled. Can you walk, little one? Your, your legs are crisscross applesauce. Is that intentional? It seems that's intentional. <laughs> All right, they, they can walk, but I don't know if it's very well. So let's keep moving. Oh geez, like everybody's ganging up on the tiny one. Um, okay, the tiny one got its little legs uncrossed. Oh, let's get that one. All right, oh, that one's cute, I like it. Hello, little one. You've got smooth tail, you're just a little pink one. You know what guys, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Can it, can it walk though? Okay, its legs are crisscrossed applesauce to the back, but maybe if I help out. Okay, it can't walk that well, so let's try crisscrossing the pink one with this one who can clearly walk. And what do we get? Well, we're getting a smaller group this time. Darn, the pink one's gone. However, I do like to try to at least give our pups a chance of being somewhat functional. <gasps> Lime light minty green! Oh, I'll take it. Let's see, can you, and you've only got four legs too. Ooh, this one has purple. <gasps> you guys, we're getting some fun colors. Let's keep going just a bit more. Like purple and green. <gasps> They're so cute. Okay, this was totally worth it to keep going. I really like that purple coloration as well. What? How am I gonna pick? Oh man, 
but I really like this just pale green as, you know what, let's go ahead and we're gonna select the curly tailed pale green puffers because I think that that is a really fun mix between chickadee and a good mix between shepherd that I didn't expect. And I like just that baseline and I'm gonna try to change the color of its like ears to maybe black because that would be really cute. All right, final dog selected. Yay! And now we got our little puppers. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we've got all these puppies that we still need to hatch. And we definitely need to breed those three heads that Aussie has. And you can now upgrade dens. We have so much to do. Oh my gosh. And we have so many puppies we need to hatch still. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so wonderful. You know what? These are where my good dogs are. These are where my good puppers are are definitely hanging out and we're gonna go ahead and get this little this little one we just made just because all right antica rose you go ahead and finish us off on this big celebratory day of returning to the side of our wobble pups oh tika rose you're beautiful and she's an adult now you guys tika rose of the special jungle den upgrade with glossy legs look at those toe beans and two heads carrying on some of the most wonderful bits of the genetics that we have had for our grave guard dogs is now out and about and ready to have some pups of her own so thank you guys so much for joining me i feel so much better now that we have had some time to hang out with our good dogs after all of the chaos of trying to get those shelter games working unfortunately they just don't right now <laughs> but that's okay because we still have our wobbles so if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful wobble dogs and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time bye bye